guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to another video. So I have been promising you guys this video for a long time. Okay. What to have in your freelance makeup artist kits. So now I'm coming to you with a what to have in your freelance hairstylist kit. So this is if you're already licensed and you already have everything you need to have certifications wise. And this is just what you should have in your kit. Whether or not they taught you in school, I don't know. But I know that I did have to figure a lot of this out on my own. So I figured I would make your life a little bit easier and show you what to have. So what I have going on right here is this little black tote bag. If you watched my makeup, makeup artist right video, here. I did mention that I had a train case, but I do not have it any longer. So I make do with what I have. Nothing. Don't let anything hold you back. Like if you're like, oh my gosh, all I need is this like amazing train case that's not going to make or break your business. I promise you, you'll look just fine. Maybe, I mean, maybe any, all of this is a no-brainer to you. Maybe it's not. You're like, oh, I didn't think about that. Okay. Let's just start. How would you start? start thinking? You would start setting up, right? Okay, so you always need to have, I would have at least one or two extension cords. Doesn't matter what color they are. Doesn't matter how many. I mean, you at least try to have one that has two or three. If you have a um, more than a two prong, definitely get those as well. But I would have at least two with you, especially if you have a stylist with you helping you, an assistant, then they are going to need it too. Trust me on this. Do not count on your clients to have an extension cord. Do not count on them to have a close working space. It's just not going to happen. I promise. I promise. I promise. Okay. I cannot stress this enough. This needs to be in your you kit. Should have. Next, we're going to probably go over what you will actually be using. So you are going to drape your client, whether or not you have a towel, this is going to be a clean drape so that it doesn't touch anyone else's skin. If not, just go ahead and grab a towel and quickly drape that to protect their skin or a sanic strip if you have those handy. So you need to have that because you cannot risk burning your clients and you don't want hair all over them anyways plus it's going to be hot so apologize to them be like it's better for okay, you so the next thing in our kit we'll go ahead and go over the tools that we're going to be using so you need to have at all times not only your hot irons but you need to have a blow dryer i promise you no matter how many times you sell, tell them you come with dry hair and a lot of them will come with all we'll get into that you need to have this because i bet you i bet you one person out of a whole team because you might have more than one person maybe it's just one person and they don't listen who knows or maybe you have a whole wedding of seven people and out of those seven one or two of them are going to have wet hair okay so Start with who has dry hair, obviously. Let it air dry for the most part, that's fine. But you'll need to have this with you. And that's why I said to have multiple little endings because you'll want your blow dryer plugged in, you're gonna need your other tools plugged in. You just don't wanna risk time because time is going to not be on your side for the most part. So definitely start early enough if you're gonna do this on your own and you have one on one person, I guarantee. And do, just don't trust them to have their own blow dryer. What if they don't have their own blow dryer? What if it's like a con air one that you cannot work around? So you need to have it. The next tool we are going to have is, so most likely you'll either be waving their hair or curling their hair. These are both very similar in size. This one has three other, two other adapters that I can take with me. It's up to you. Um, just make sure you do have a wand and a curling iron because you might have misjudged the look that you received. Picture wise, you want to be prepared. There may be someone's hair that doesn't wave well or curl well. You want to make sure you have very high end like lines. This is the Nano Baby Liss Titanium. I freaking love it. This one is by New Me. I highly recommend them even though it is a vlogger brand. So I literally, this gets up to what, 280 or something like that or 200, what I want to say. This goes up to 150 roughly, okay? Because it doesn't have it on here, but something like that. I will link it down below how hot they get. Be sure to have everything on the proper settings. That's going to be a whole other video. One you need to always, always, always have is a flat iron smoothing iron, whatever you want to call this, you need to have this because if they have a wave in their hair at the top and they have extremely thick hair and it's just not curling well or it's just not flattening enough, you want to make sure you have this as backup because you need to be able to smooth out the bangs. The front is the most important part. Plus, you never know if their ends just aren't meshing well with whatever tool you decided to use. You need to have this to be able to smooth out the ends. Just make sure you got it all, okay? It's better to be overprepared than like um, do you have a flat iron I can? No, I don't actually. This is your job. That's why I hired you, okay? Don't forget that. So now we can get into some products that you should be using. I don't know that you should worry if they're drugstore or if they are high-end. That is going to be between you and how you price people. I personally never let it get in the way. So that, again, that's up to you and your confidence and your level of skill. So the number one product you need to always have that maybe people don't think about is a dry shampoo. This is the hands down the best dry shampoo ever. Do not get it too close, especially if they are brunette. It will make their hair gray-ish. 
like an outcast of gray. You don't want to do that. Trust me, even if they're blonde, just spray it 8 to 10 inches away from the head. You'll be fine. So this literally, I'm out of it, but I need more of it. But yeah, this is the amazing, like I said, is the Volumizing Dry Shampoo by Big Sexy Hair. Super thickening. It will take all that grease away because, again, as you give the rules, there's gonna be one who doesn't listen, okay? So they're gonna come up to you with greasy hair that I haven't washed in two days. Oh, I just like the way it curls better because it's not freshly washed. No, 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 no. You wanna have them wash their hair the night before and then they wake up and that is doable. Whether they blow dry or whether they don't, I don't really care, okay? Just do not come to me with greasy hair, promise. But there's gonna be one. So you wanna have this as backup. I just recommend this brand like ultimately for that. The next thing you need to have again that you may or may not think about is a gloss. Like if their hair is so dry, you wanna make sure you have some type of product. And actually my my better one is at the salon right now, it's the Bum Bum Bumble. Invisible hair oil. Oh my God. It has seven awesome nutrients in it. This is the Kenra Soakening Gloss. Smells amazing. It's so it's not greasy, it won't mess up your hair look, okay? But don't like put it at the root or anything crazy like that. Start at the end, work it in the hair. It'll help make it smell amazing and they just, they'll, they'll trust you. Don't worry about it. But you want to have some type of gloss just in case you need it. Another great product is What A Tease in a Bottle. So this is another another one by Big Sexy. Their hair, it will not move if you're backcombing it. So definitely make sure you have a teasing product on hand. A normal hairspray is not going to do the job. So you want to make sure you use this. Do not spray it too closely. You do not want the hair wet, okay? So just make sure that you use these hair products properly. Again, we're going to have to do another video to teach you guys if you don't really know. I mean, you could only learn so much in beauty school. They want to make sure you're not going to hurt anybody and that you're going to be sanitary, okay? So they may not give you the skill that you need. But I picked up a lot when I was in beauty school. So again, I wish I vlogged back then. Like, I could have really given you guys an insider look, but I didn't, okay? <laughs> so another thing, this is a drugstore brand. This is Ozzy. This is a heat protected shine spray. It works. It's great. It smells amazing. They'll compliment on the smell. All you're looking for is some type of protection to the hair when you are blow drying and or using a hot tool. That's all you need. If you want to use a different brand, that's fine for you. This is the, happened to be the one that I picked up and that I've been using. The next thing you'll want to have is a working spray. This is going to be when you're using the tools. You want to spray it. It's not going to give you the full on hold, but it is going to give you enough hold to make sure that their hair is not going to move while you, it's drying because otherwise you'd be there for 14 hours trying to get their hair to set. Okay? So make sure you have a working spray. This one's by Kenra. This is on the 14 out of the 0 to 26 spectrum and then this is the medium hole. So this is Kenra Platinum. Yeah, you guys should all be able to buy that at Costco Roth. Again, this is for the hair stylist. If not, you have to go to a salon and purchase the products. This is the L'Oreal L Net Hairspray. I remember the day I graduated, a other beauty girl used this on me and I was like, I just want to have it. Like it's gold. It's like awesome. It's beautiful. Extra strong hold. UV filter. Color treated hair. It's got the whole shebang. Again, it's by L'Oreal. L'Oreal actually owns salon centric. So if anyone ever tries to go, ah, L'Oreal, like I'm, there's always going to be a drugstore versus, you know, the the high end and or Cosmoprof situation. But again, they own an actual beauty store. So you got to think about that. So <laughs> this one is just the finest hairspray used by the finest stylist. It's not going to be extremely that they cannot put a finger through their hair. You, I personally don't believe in that. That's up to you if you want to put a ton of hairspray in this person's hair. I've gotten amazing results. I get plenty of compliments on my own hair. That is my secret as I don't hairspray the ish out of my hair. In fact, I don't have a strand of hairspray on my hair right now. It's drying. <laughs> be nice, okay? Be nice to your hair. The next thing you obviously need is a brush. These are by Paul Mitchell. This is the 408, or now is that the comb? What is this, the 415, 415? I think it's 415. I'm not quite sure, but they do have names on them. So you wanna have a, at least one brush, and um, if you don't have more than one brush, or you don't wanna bring them, I would bring a couple if you have them. If not, bring your quads so that you can actually clean the brush, because guess what, you are not supposed to use them on other clients. So if you end up doing a hair situation that is more than one person, you need to be sanitary. So, um, again, it's way easier if you have brushes because then you gotta wait for them to dry, you'll be blow drying your thing, but that is a trick. You need to get them dried fast, blow dryer. <laughs> to work with the hair, you need clips, butterfly clips and duckbill clips. So these are butterfly clips. These are extremely fast and easy, perfect to work with. They put it back, back up in the hair. These are awesome for parting. On, you just go zoop and then part the damn thing. So you need to have if it's going to be an extreme updo, whether it's for a wedding or a prom, clear elastics. You can have black too, but if anything, you definitely need clear because if they have long hair and you're using a black little rubber band on them, that's not a good story. You also need to have these full 
clips for an extreme updo. This will hold the hair in place. This is different from a bobby pin, so please don't think it is a bobby pin. They look like this. These are hair, These are hair pins, okay? They look like that. So you want to make sure you have a little pack of them. Unused. Brand new. And last thing you should need as far as I remember. And obviously business cards, make sure you have your business cards so you can hand them to anyone and everyone in case you booked it with the bride and then you have bridesmaids and look, they're getting married. So just always have your business cards ready to go. These bobby pins, okay? So we have black, we have lighter brown, and then we have a deeper brown. So this is more of the gold side, this middle one right here. We also have four blondes, okay? So just make sure you have a wide variety of bobby pins. They are so inexpensive. They get to keep on, like, get over it. <laughs> but just make sure you have them. If you run out or look crazy, you're going to cry. Okay? So just make sure you are always fully prepared and you will not have an issue. So definitely give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Definitely let me know down below if there's something else you want me to cover. I should, I shall be getting more into deeper hairstylist tips to, to help the hairstylist starting out and didn't just gain that much from beauty school and wants to just further their education. It is a forever changing industry. Everything changes at the drop of the hat. Like just always be on top of everything. So again, I just hope you guys liked this video. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on social media, which is Instagram as at 70YYF and then Facebook as actually that as well, but it's also hair and makeup by 70 Fuge. So I will link everything down below. It's always linked on my channel. So just make sure you guys do follow me there. I've been doing a live video on Facebook and Instagram, so you gotta catch me while I'm hot. <laughs> I plan to do more organizational videos, so please stay tuned. If you have not seen my giveaway video, definitely go there. I will link it right here so you guys can go join that giveaway. It's gonna be over in about two weeks, but yeah, so I hope to see you guys soon, and I will talk to you later. Bye.